What's up everybody, it's AJ with eTrailer.com. Today we're gonna be checking out these jumper cables with a quick disconnect. So what that means is you got your standard jumper cables that are gonna help you jump anything you need on the job side and other vehicles. But if you use it all the time, you can install this side on your battery. It'll stay on the truck side. So you can just quickly plug this in, jump what you need to, and pull it right back off. Focusing down here on the quick connection, what we did was we run this up into the truck and connect it to the battery up top. That way this is always gonna be there when you need it and you don't have to pop two hoods is a good benefit. You don't have to pop the hood on your main vehicle when you're jumping other things. Plus it's better than hauling cables around everywhere or a jumper box that may or may not sit on there. It's just another thing you have to look after. With this installed, less to worry about, quickly plug it in and get jumped and get back to work. Up here in the engine bay, you can see how we attached it to the battery on the side terminals, not on the top post. So you just add it in addition to what's already attached. And we have seven and a half feet of cable. So we were able to get from this loop down here at the bottom all the way up here and even have some to spare. So we just zip tied it off to the side, up and out of the way. Let's pull the cap off, show how it works. It's like that. You take the quick connector then, speed it in, plug it on this side. Let's go hook up the cables. Here on the other vehicle, this is where we're gonna attach the battery and get this truck jumped. And I just wanna focus on the clamps now. They have a good tension to them. You can see they have a good snap there at the top. So it's gonna be nice and hold on to those terminals. That's good because you know the terminals are different sizes and sometimes you can't always clip them on or have that much access to them. They also have a 45 degree angle here. So they slightly go down a little bit and that's good because again, sometimes there's not a lot of room there so it's easier to connect them like that than if they would be straight up and down. Sometimes you can't get them in those angles. So what we're gonna do is hook it up. Let's go ahead and move this out of the way. And then just use the clamp, go down and around that terminal, fits in there real nice, holds onto it pretty good too. On that side as well, and now we're good to jump it. Now this truck isn't dead, so we're not gonna jump it, but this is just the process you go through to do that. Now I also wanted to show you how much more cable you have left over. There's plenty, it's gonna be 25 feet from this truck to this truck. There's plenty of extra there to pull it tight just in case the battery was on the other side, we'd still be able to reach it and it's okay and we'll be able to jump it just fine. Now the gauge is gonna be one gauge, so it's a pretty thick cable. So it's gonna deliver that power and get that jumped up pretty quick. Now if something was to happen to the quick connector side, that'd be this part, all the way over there to the cables. Let's say you ran them, ran them over and broke this end or something happened on the cable end. I don't know how that would happen, but something got severed, you can't use these anymore. Now there is a replacement part to replace this 25 feet here. So you can always get that if something wants to happen. Now, if this is not long enough, if you need more than 25 feet, you can get a 15 foot extension to add to it. That way you have more cable if you need it. It also comes with its own carrying case, which is nice because I know compared to the jumper cables that I have, when you put them in the back of your vehicle, they kind of sprawl out everywhere and take over that whole back area. This way, it all stays in its self-contained little box and it's nice and neat. So I think this is gonna be a really good option for you if you have like a fleet of vehicles or you work at a construction site. That way you don't have to lug those extra parts around all the time. You just have this ready to go whenever you need it. Hook it up real quick and get things jumped. Well. Let's see how hard it is to install. It's actually not that bad. I just had to run the cables and attach it to the battery. Check out how we did it. Now we picked out the battery that we're gonna attach it to. We're gonna go right here on this side. There's just less clutter on the inside for us to mess with. So when I run the cables up through there, it's gonna be easier for us to do. Now, you're, before you start routing your cables, you wanna figure out where you want this end to sit. So we're not gonna go through the grill or anything. We're thinking right here by this loop here. So how you do that is you start running these in right there. So as you pull this up, that clip will stay right where we want it to. Now that we've run the cable, we went ahead and came down here and we zip tied it in place. That way it's gonna stay here. And we also zip tied the loop here for the cover. That way when you go to unplug it and use it, the cover's gonna be right there and ready to put back on. It's much easier than having that loose and like put it in your pocket or something. Coming up to the top, this is where we're gonna attach our cables to the appropriate terminals. So they're color coded, black for negative, red for positive. We're just gonna go on the side of the terminals here. And they attach on this screw right here. So they're not gonna go over the top, they're just gonna go on the side.
come back and add our positive cable. So we went ahead and took the rest of our excess cable here and found a spot to zip tie it just around here just to keep it all in place nice and neat out of the way and once you've done that that's your install really not that hard to get that installed just run the cables to the right terminals attach them and clean up that excess now it's always going to be right here and with it zip tied it'll be ready to use whenever you need it well i think that does it thanks for hanging out and i hope this helped